Hello, YouTube viewers and Transformers fans of all ages. This is the TFN Geek coming to you with a, a Transformers video review, view and unboxing review. You with that? Today we have what has become um, my uh, favorite Deluxe Class Autobot toy from the War for Cybertron Siege line. It is Deluxe Class Autobot Impactor. Impactor is the uh, 42nd toy to be released in the Siege line, as you can see there by his number, WFC. Uh, E E S forty two, and I am a mate. And ever since it was announced that Impactor had won the fan vote poll, well, for being one of two Transformers characters who would most definitely be given a toy in the Siege Line. Ever since that announcement was made, it, I have been waiting for Impactor to be released. So I'm really happy to have him here. Here on this side of the box, you've got some nice artwork of Impactor there. On the other side of the box, you've got the uh, image for the Siege toy line. On the top. Autobot logo, War for Cybertron Trilogy. On the bottom, uh, manufacturing labels, barcode. And coming around to the back of the box, you've got product photos. Those here we have Impactor in his robot mode and his alt mode, and he transforms back and forth between both modes in 14 steps. And he's shown interacting with the Battlemasters. Masters, uh, Green Turtle Gaming, welcome. I don't know if anyone else will appear in the live stream chat and while I'm live streaming, but... Let's get Impactor out of his box and see what he looks like close up. So for those of you who don't know who exactly is Impactor and why is it that out of uh, out of the uh, eight, trans I believe there were a total of eight individual Transformers characters, uh, four or uh, pairs of two, why Impactor won the Fanville pull along with Mirage. Well, for those of you who don't know who Impactor is, he is a comic book original Transformers character, and he was created to be the leader of the Autobot League command team known as the Wreckers. And the Wreckers were the Autobots who uh, went behind enemy lines and did the uh, most dangerous missions that most other Autobots uh, would not, e not have any courage on wanting to take egg and... Impactor has been given several toys by third-party Transformers companies, um, and by several I mean I know of at least two toys of Impactor that were released by third-party companies. There's only been one other toy of Impactor, or besides uh, the recently released War for Cybertron Siege version that was released, and that was the uh, 2013 Deluxe Class Fall of Cybertron toy of Impactor. I showed that toy off uh, about a week ago when I did a video explaining to everyone who was Impactor and why I was I personally have been looking forward to the Siege toy of him being released. So since I'm live streaming, it's taking me a difficult process getting Impactor free from his plastic tie downs. A lot of Transformers fan. And uh, it was uh Shown there were product photos shown of the upcoming uh, Transformers uh, Earthrise uh, toys. Uh, Earthrise is going to be the toy line that succeeds uh, the Siege toy line, and there were photos showing off the two Voyager class toys being released in Wave One of the Earthrise toy line, Grapple and Starscream. And between the two of them, uh, Starscream was shown having just one of these plastic tie downs that Hasbro's been using on their Transformers toys, and Grapple was shown to have zero when photos of his box were shown. And so it appears that uh, the first step that Hasbro is going to do if they are going to carry out their uh, campaign that they announced a few months ago of getting rid of plastic on the packaging of their toys, uh, it appears that the plastic tie-downs might be the first thing to go from there. Let's see if I can pull Impactor out now. This one final plastic tie-down refuses to release Impactor. Let's see if I can get it out now. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we finally have Impactor released from his packaging, and I gotta say that uh, it is pretty great looking. Uh, some more people have joined the live stream chat. Uh, Mr. V Games and Toys, welcome there. Here, uh, here, um, 
let's see, uh, Gabe, uh, Gabriel, welcome. Um, he's uh, saying I should cut it with a pair of scissors. Um, scissors. I um, actually uh, accidentally a few years, several years ago, I accidentally uh, stabbed myself with a pair of scissors when I tried to move these plastic tie down items with that. So I've been a little more careful about it. The use of uh, using scissors to tie these down. All right, so with that out of the way, we can now take a look at Impactor armored up. So Eerie is in his robot mode, and Impactor is really impressive looking. Looking, And because Impactor, along with Mirage, won the fan vote poll of being a Transformers character guaranteed to be given a toy in the Siege line, Hasbro decided to surprise everyone by announcing that Impactor, along with Mirage, they're not... They're not getting not just one deluxe class toy in the siege line but they're in fact getting two toys toys and they're being released in a what's being called the fan vote three pack which is being released exclusively through amazon.com um and to be honest the three pack version of impactor as well as mirage i'm not really interested in them but i am interested in the third toy being released in that set which is one of the three power dashers that's been released in the siege line uh, the only difference between a uh, the version of Impactor that's being sold exclusively in the three pack on Amazon is that he has a uh, different head sculpt. It's based on his appearance in IDW's comic books, and the head sculpt here on this version of Impactor, it's based on his appearance in the Transformers Generation 1 uh, Marvel UK comic books. So that's one reason why I think I'm going to stick with this one. I have technically gotten the Fan Vote 3 pack pre ordered from Amazon. It should be here before the end of the week. But I already promised two fellow YouTubers that I would sell the versions of Impactor and Mirage sold in that three pack to them. To them if they were willing to buy it from me because there's some other great Transformers toys in the Siege line that have not been, that I have not gotten a hold of yet and I would like to get a hold of them. Um, but the other, other main difference between this version of Impactor and the second version being released in three pack is that he's got some uh, yellow and black painted uh, hazard stripes on his uh, chest and his arms and also the version of impactor that's being released exclusively through amazon on uh, hasbro decided to turn it into a decepticon and impactor in the comic books he was never a decepticon the reason for the second version for impact actor being a decepticon was because in one comic book uh, panel he was shown hanging out with megatron just before the war started when they were all uh factionless transformers toys and because Hasbro originally marketed Impactor as a Decepticon when he was getting released in the Siege line, I know. here on the Autobot version, uh, rather than give Impactor a solid red Autobot logo, they gave him a silver outlined Autobot logo. And because Impactor's chest is purple, I saw one video review where someone joked that this could potentially pass off as a uh, Shattered Glass Transformers toy since... The only Autobot logo Impactor has on him, it's not a solid red Autobot logo, it's just a uh, silver outline. But to my knowledge, within Transformers fiction, Impactor has never been a Decepticon, he's always been an Autobot. And if you know the comic book stories about the Wreckers, uh, today trans most Transformers fans consider the comic book stories involving the Wreckers to be among the greatest uh, comic book stories involving the Transformers ever ever told. I don't know how much truth there is to that statement, but apparently Transformers fans, uh, when asked, do they love the Wreckers and everything about them, they answered yes. And they have answered yes more than one time, which is how Impactor won the fan vote poll of being given a toy in the Siege line, since he has been the leader of the Wreckers. Uh, trying to catch up with the live stream chat, see who else has come on here. Uh, Mr. V to using games say. Uh, as, uh, it's awesome to have Impactor. Uh, Green Turtle Gaming says he'd take the Impactor and Mirage. Uh, um, first, I have to see Green Turtle Gaming if the other two YouTubers I promised the toys to will take them. If they don't, don't I'll do a video where I make an offer to whoever wants it. That's it, uh, David Hill, welcome. Uh, input, hello. Uh, David Hilly says, that's right, if TFN doesn't want to say that, it's not official, lol. <laughs> and input, he says, wreck and rule. So yes, Impactor, he was the leader of the Wreckers in the Transformers comic books, and 
Uh, one cool feature here about Impactor is that even though he has two hands on him, in every comic book story involving Impactor, the ones that were printed in printed by the uh, Marvel UK during Generation 1 back in the uh, 1980s and more recently in IDW, in his origin story, in, one of the reasons why Impactor created the records is because one day he got into a battle with a group of Decepticons and one of his hands got blasted into a million pieces. And instead of replacing it with a, uh, and instead of finding a replacement hand, Impactor instead replaced his hand and with a harpoon spear gun. And in some of the comic books, Impactor, he could launch this, launch his uh, spear hand and like a missile. So that's why some Transformers fans have called it a harpoon. And some Transformers fans have called it a hook, although it's not really shaped like a hook. It's more like a spear point, point to me, at least. So yeah, that's one play feature you have of Impactor is that if you want to, you can flip out one of his hands around and place his uh, smaller laser gun on in there, and you can give him the harpoon spear that he's almost always had in every appearance in the Transformers comic books. You can do it on his left hand as well due to how he transforms, but to my knowledge, in the Transformers Generation 1 comic books, it was the right hand, his right hand that Impactor lost. But yeah, that's really great. So to transform Arm Impactor... Um, after I'm not going to use the instruction sheets, I, what I try to do is I try to watch uh, YouTube videos and go by uh, images that he has on. So you flip Impactor's hands and hands around down into him. And um, if you'll excuse me, I will be right back in just one moment. All right, sorry for that interruption. I had to help my family with something. So you'll want to flip up Impactor's hands so that those five millimeter pegs are pointing out and you want to rotate his arms so that these two round pieces are uh, facing forward. forward. And then you want to flip this back panel and all behind uh, Impactor out. Now you want to Rotate his head, head around 360 degrees so that it's in facing downward. Fold that in and collapse that. And you will hear it clip into play. Ace on impactor. And then. This is really tight, but you want to flip up the chest and then you want to. Rotate the arms so that they're facing like this, and then bring this down like so. Do both arms. Arms, and then there's a... I don't know if you can see right there, but there's two slots that new slots that line up with these pegs on Impactor's robot mode chest, and they'll clip into place on the arms, and then Impactor shoulder cannon, you can just leave that folded down. And that's the top half of of Impactor's tank mode, um, his uh, waist swivel joint doubles as the tank turret, so that's pretty amazing that it does that. Next, you want to flip the feet back, and you want to untab them, and this is the tricky part. You actually want to rotate Impactor's feet out, because you then want to rotate the sides of the legs back so that you get the tank treads. Then, right there on uh, Impactor's waist, sorry for blocking with my fingers, you want to very carefully unclip it, that part right there. Bring these panels together, and then finish rotating. Bring these panels back. Make sure everything is lined up, and then if you look back there, there's two peg holes right here that will attached to those tabs back there, and Impactor's feet are what lock the back half of his tank mode into place. 
Let's see if I can get it to line up properly for you. There we go. Get the other one here. Come on, get in there. And then there's several places where you can attach uh, impactors, uh, two laser guns. And so according to the uh, product photos on the back of uh, impactors box, um, what you're supposed to do, which I forgot to do, is uh, before you uh, uh, finish rotating the arms and bringing them in, you want to uh, take a uh, impactors larger laser gun and actually uh, attach it in the middle right here, and then that will become the cannon for the tank mode. So. When you transform Impactor for the first time, make sure you don't forget that step. Step like I did of his larger laser gun becoming the tank gun. The tank cannon. And then the smaller laser gun just comes up right here. Acts as a backup gun. And here is Impactor in his tank mode. It's very impressive looking. It is um, somewhat reminiscent of the tank mode Impactor had in the uh, Transformers comic books. And um, that's a bit of trivia about Impactor. To this day, as far as I'm aware of, he has never appeared at, at all in any of the Transformers cartoon shows or even, even in the Transformers video games. I think he might have been named one time in Transformers Prime, but I can't remember Ember, but to be honest, um, to my knowledge, Impact Actor, his only appearance in the Transformers franchise has been on the pages of Transformers comic books. Let's see, uh, see if anyone else is logged into the live stream chat. At, ah, Ninja Bill, hello there. Oh, and he he says he just picked up Impactor, so I hope you enjoy Impactor as much as I'm enjoying him, Ninja Bill, because he's a pretty great. Eight, uh, let's see. Tune in the line scene chat. And uh, Green Toe Gaming says I'm happy that I'm releasing that they're re-releasing Astro Training Wave One of the Earthrise toy line. Toy line, um. And the reason why in the title of the video I said that this is, in addition to a review of Impactor, I also have some uh, Transformers news. Um, there's two little bits of Transformers news that I'll share at the end of the video. Video and Astro Train is, involves a part of that news that I wanted to share with everyone. Now, Zocho Reyes Ponce, welcome. Okay, I caught up to live stream chat. So, Impactor, he is pretty impressive looking, and his tank mode... Um, it's really nice. Uh, the only battle damage Impactor has is uh, silver markings on the tank tread, so it looks like he's uh, grinded his way through some uh, metal remains. But that's one thing I like about these uh, more recent waves in the Siege line, is that uh, the battle damage marks, they aren't as um, common as they were on like the Wave 1 figures where battle marks were all over the place. Nice. So the tank turret, it can rotate, and that's something that some Transformers uh, toys that are that turn into tanks, uh, it's a feature that they lose. It was, so that's another cool play value in, Impactor has. And for some size comparisons in vehicle mode, here is Impactor next to his wave mates. Here he is next to Mirage. And here also, as I twist my hands, here is Impactor next to Barricade, so... Impactor, he is an average size deluxe class Transformers toy compared to other toys in the Siege line. And silly me, I just realized I forgot to do a comparison of Impactor Actor while well, he's transformed in robot mode. So let's get him uh, transformed back into robot mode. Straightened out, clipped into place for everyone. What's this leg not doing correctly? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, got that fixed.
Mm. On my copy of Mirage, the shoulder joints are really tight, so just be careful when you're transforming Impactor. He uh, has some joints that are tighter than others. The joints on Impactor's feet feel surprisingly loose compared to the uh, super tight joints that his shoulders are, are appearing to be. Get that arm flipped down. I'm not going to flip out his hand because I'm going to give him his uh, spear, your gun. All right, and so here's Impactor transformed back into his robot mode. Now, depending on how you have his legs positioned, uh, Impactor, he has become the uh, tallest uh, deluxe class toy in the Siege line, and um, he's about, I want to say, two or three centimeters taller than Ironhide is. Is And in vehicle mode, Impactor, he uh, he's the same size as most deluxe class toys in the Siege line due to how he transforms arms going from robot mode to tank mode, but unlike unlike his uh, tank mode, in robot mode, Impactor, he surprisingly becomes much taller than the other Deluxe Class Siege toys. Now, I don't have any Siege Transformers Deluxe Class toys transformed into robot mode, but for a size comparison with one other uh, Siege toy that I will bring out in a moment, here's Impactor next to Shockwave, and as you can tell, uh, Shockwave, he's only... Uh, it's only his ears that are actually taller than Impactor, depending on how you have their legs positioned. So, yeah, Impactor, he's a, uh, compared to Shockwave, he's almost the same size. So that's really impressive. Oh, David Hill, he's got to go. Thank you for stopping by, David Hill. But even though I don't have any more Siege toys, toys to compare with Impactor, here's a special surprise for everyone. For some size comparison with some other Transformers toys in robot mode, here's Impactor surrounded by a bunch of my Transformers toys. And the Transformers toys that are here, here in the back, back row, we have the uh, Generations Thrilling 30 Voyager class toys of Whirl, Robuster, and Sandstorm. Here we have Siege, Springer, Inger in the middle. Over here on the far side, we have Titans Return Broadside. Here we have Titans Return, Top Spin, and Twin Twist. And over here is my custom toy of Rack and Ruin, the conjoined Autobot twins who have recently appeared in the Transformers Cyberverse cartoon. So here is Impactor surrounded by the other Transformers characters that made up the original lineup of the Wreckers. So with the release of Impactor, we technically have only uh, Rack and Ruin who have not been given an official toy by Hasbro. But since I made this custom version here for your viewing pleasure, here is Impactor surrounded by the other Autobots who were chosen to be become the Wreckers by Marvel UK back in the Generation 1 unfranchised during the 1980s. So Marvel UK, they wanted to, when creating the Wreckers team, they wanted to use Transformers characters who either had a common trait Eight, such as the three Autobot Triple Changers, Springer, Sandstorm, and Broadside, or they were Transformers characters who had been given toys in the Generation 1 line who had not appeared in the Generation 1 cartoon, which is where Whirl, Robuster, Top Spin, and Twin Twist stand. And after using all the, bringing all those characters together, they decided to create two brand new characters, uh, the Autobot Conjoined Twins, Rack and Ruin, and the final comic book original character who was chosen to be the leader of the Wreckers, was in fact Impactor. So it's really great to have all these guys up, um, setting apart my custom uh, Rack and Ruin toy. But with the release of Impactor, we now only have uh, Rack and Ruin, who still hasn't been given an official toy by Hasbro. Hasbro, but to be honest, even whether or not uh, Rack and Ruin is here, I mean, it's pretty great that we've gotten almost all of the original Wreckers team here together. Either end. That's one reason why I'm happy that Impactor ended up being a tall deluxe class figure because comparing him with Top Spin and Twin Twist, who uh, hold the title of being the largest Transformers toys released in the Titans Return toy line, uh, Impactor is uh, half a head taller than they are. So I'm really happy that Impactor is a huge uh, deluxe class Transformers toy. So yeah, Wreck and Rule.
So for me, since I made my custom rack and ruin uh, with Impactor now here, my team of wreckers is now complete. Eat so eat. Eat and I gotta say, Impactor does look pretty impressive standing here amongst all of them. See what you guys have been saying in the hang in the uh trends one in the live stream chat. Uh, Green Joe Gaming, the record bros input records. Ninja Bill 1000 says we need a new world girl and robuster toy to be released. East uh, Ninja Bill 1000, he says that was just prime. Thank you so much for that, Ninja Bill. No, no sorry. he says he had to sell his comic book collection about that. No, I'm sorry, Ninja Bill, for you know, for that. So I also said in the title of the video, I had uh, two pieces of Transformers news that I wanted to share with everyone. And I actually watched this off another video a short while before I started this live stream. So the, f the two announcements that I wanted to share is that uh, recently uh, someone wanted, someone managed to get a hold early a copy of the upcoming War for Cybertron Siege, each a leader class Astrotrain figure, and it came to my attention that Astrotrain is exactly the same, is going to be the exact same height as another leader class toy that's been released in the Siege line. You ready to see which leader class toy Astrotrain is going to be just as tall has? Yep. Astrotrain... Someone managed to get a hold of Siege Astro Train early, and they compared him to Titans Return Astro Train, and, and some other Transformers toys. And yes, Astro Train is just is going to be the same height as Shockwave, and Shockwave. And just like Shockwave, when you buy Astro Train, you're basically going to pay the price of a leader class Transformers toy for a Voyager class, and the additional price tag is because of the additional accessory pieces. So, just like Shockwave with his uh, attack drone slash hoverboard slash weapons platform, whatever you want to call all, all his spare parts, just like Shockwave, Astro Train is technically a Voyager class Transformers toy that's being marketed as a leader because he has an additional accessory piece. Uh, for Astro Train, his additional accessory piece, he's, uh, it transforms into a uh, launch pad for his space shuttle mode, and when Astro Train transforms into his... Uh, Train mode, it becomes a coal tender for his uh, locomotive, which is a steam engine. Steam engine. I was uh, originally enthusiastic and highly anticipated about Astro Train. Aim, but now that I found out that he's the same size as a as Shockwave, I'm probably going to hold off until Astro Train. And now I canceled my uh, Astro Train pre order with Amazon. Amazon, uh, it's uh, according to Amazon, Astro Train might not get released until December, so there's still a chance that I might get him and get him around Christmas time. I mean, but since I still also need to get Omega Supreme, I might just wait until next year for Astro Train since he's now been announced to be the same size as Shockwave. And as I showed a moment ago, since Impactor is roughly the same size as Shockwave, uh, one could make the argument that Astro Train, uh, that Astro Train uh, could be, um, like Impactor, almost a deluxe. Deluxe that's being marketed as a Voyager class toy. But yeah, so I'm a little disappointed with uh, Astro Train being small, with the upcoming Siege version of Astro Train being uh, uh, smaller than the uh, Titans Return version of Astro Train, which I own. So one thing I've been trying to focus on with my Transformers collecting is first getting the toys of Transformers characters that I don't have any figures of yet, and then the ones I already do have, uh, buying uh, the, the uh, more updated toys after I get toys of the characters that I still don't own. So for me personally, um, for the upcoming Transformers toys that haven't been released yet, I am more excited for Eight Face, Crosshairs, and Spinister, and uh, the Battlemaster Rung, the Micromasters, and then for the Earthrise toy line, I'm more excited for Grapple and Ironworks because I don't have toys of those characters yet in my Transformers collection. Action. So, for me personally, I'm waiting on Astro Train until I can get some more of the Transformers toys that I am more looking forward to yet. Uh, Mr. V Toys and Game Games, he has to leave. So, thank you for enjoying the live stream chat at V Toys and Games. 
Now, the last piece of news I wanted to share relating to the Transformers is that one of the Transformers toys that was released earlier this year is going to be getting a second release in the upcoming weeks. And it's not Astro Train, and it's not uh, the other Transformers toy that's being released in Earth Rise again, which is the Battlemaster Smashdown. Um, the Transformers toy that I released earlier this year that's going to be getting a second release is this guy. So yes, it has been... So yes, it has apparently... Uh, it's slowly being announced that for those of you who missed out on him the first time he was released back in the summer, Ectotron is going to be getting a second release in the upcoming weeks. I don't know if it's due to the fact that Ghostbusters is often marketed as a uh, Halloween movie, movie because of as it involves ghosts, ghost, or if it's for Christmas and that way people can get Ectotron as a Christmas present. I honestly don't know the reason why Ectotron is getting a second release, but he is. And the kicker for the second release of Ectotron, instead of being $49.99, he's going to be $39.99. So yes, for his uh, second release, and he's Ectotron, apparently he's going to be priced down. Nice down. Um, the impression I got when I got this version of Ectotron back in July I, for my birthday, um, GameStop originally was under the impression that just like the uh, masterpiece Ghostbusters Optimus Prime, uh, I'm, uh, GameStop was under the impression that Ectotron was going to be exclusive to San Diego Comic Con, but since he, but it appears that he was not. So whether or not uh, Ectotron will be given a wider distribution during his second release than he did the first time remains to be seen. I personally would like to get a second copy of Ectotron so I could keep this copy in the box permanently. But with all the amazing Transformers toys coming out, I'm still deciding if getting a second copy of a Transformers toy I already have is worth it. But yes, that's the last piece of Transformer news I want to share with everyone is that if you missed out on Ectotron, on a few months ago when he was released the first time. Fear not, he will be getting released again and in the coming weeks. So thank you everyone who tuned into the main focus of this video, which was my review of Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Impactor. I cannot recommend, and without losing my breath, getting this toy and adding it to your Transformers collection. It's only the second toy of Impactor that's been released at mass retail, and it is worth the price tag. He is taller than most of the deluxe class toys in the Siege line, and actually I think he might even be the very tallest deluxe class toy to be released in the Siege line. So when you buy Impactor, you are buying your money's worth. And most Transformers fans, because they are unfamiliar with Impactor, they've uh, uh, gotten Mirage and Barricade before getting Impactor, but if I had to choose one of the three deluxe class toys, toys from, I think this is way four of the Siege line, if I had to choose one of the Deluxe Class toys from Way 4 of the Siege Line to get first, it would be Impactor, it would not be Mirage, and it would not be Barricade. Because Impactor, he is a pretty incredible Transformers character, and even though he's only appeared on the pages of Transformers comic books, he's still amazing in his own right. right. The Wreckers are pretty impressive, and it's due in part to Impactor's leadership that the Wreckers have managed to stand. And even though in some of the Transformers comic books, Impactor did eventually die helping the Wreckers defeat some of the Decepticons. Uh, just like Optimus Prime, Impactor was able to be brought back to life so he didn't stay dead for long. So yes, for me personally, Impactor has impacted, impacted my love of the Transformers Armors franchise. So thank you everyone who tuned into the live stream chat. Thank you so much to all my subscribers for your continued support. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. I thank you guys also. So much to everyone who tuned into the live stream chat. Ed, and if you missed this live stream, please leave a comment down in the comments section about your thoughts on Impactor and also uh, the news that Siege Astro Train, when he gets released, he's, he's going to be a smaller shockwave, wave, as well as the Encore release of Ectotron. So thank you guys all so much. Please like, comment, subscribe. I uh, I was about to end the video, but Green Toe Gaming, he just asked me a question. Um. As you know, earlier in the video, I announced that I was, uh, us, that I got the fan vote three pack that contains the other versions of Mirage and Impactor. I'm selling them to two YouTubers. Um, I'm asking $25 for each of them. Um, uh, Green Turtle Gaming, that was your question. I want 
uh, $25 for the versions of Impact and Mirage that are sold in those two packs. I've already promised two other YouTubers, YouTubers I'm going to contact them uh, later in the week when the three pack finally shows up at my home. If either one of them turns me down for the two deluxes that I got at uh, Green Turtle Gaming, then I'll ask you if you're still interested in purchasing. So thank you guys all so much and have a great day. Transform and roll out. Goodbye, everyone.